Anybody can get a gun license right now. Protect yourself and protect your life as if it's a gift. I'm going to need a volunteer, ma'am, please. Just please. And a brother, please. It don't matter, brother. Come on up. I won't, I won't be too long. What's your name, sister? Sister Nora? Sister Nuru? Everybody say, hey, sister Nuru. Hey. 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 stand, stand right here, sister. Just, just right there, face the, face the window. What's your name, brother? Jamar. Tremont? Tremont. Tremont. Everybody say, hey, Brother Tremont. Hey. All right, sis, I want you just to face this window. Just act like, you know, you're just having a typical day. All right. Brother, does he have permission to touch you? It's just, just going to be just very brief. Just very brief. You have permission? Okay. Brother, I want you to come up to her and I want you to grab her around her waist. Wow. Just grab her. Just grab her. Got a little touch. This is serious, y'all. Just grab her. Just grab her. Okay, that's, that's good. We get the picture, right? What could she have done to prevent that? Elbow. What if you grab her in the arms? Grab her by the arms, brother. Grab her by the arms. Grab her. Grab her. Grab her. Grab her. Grab her. Grab her. What could she have done to prevent that? Did y'all hear this? Did y'all hear this? That don't take no training. Look around and pay attention to your surroundings. That's one of the best skills you can have in any situation. If pay attention to your surroundings. Now, if this sister had been aware, walking around, and she looking all around, looking all around, she see that brother behind her. Now she knows somebody behind her. Now, since she know that man is behind her, what would you do? You goddamn right. How much training did that take? <laughs> <laughs> How much training did that take? Come on, it brother. It didn't take you none, right? Very simple. You just learned the very first lesson in martial arts. Sister, take a seat. Thank y'all. All right. Thank you. It's, that was very simple. The same thing we can teach our kids. Our kids are targets. Y'all know why they targets? They, they got a few, yeah. They are they are few. They can stop us. They can stop her. If they stop them, they stop everything. They are future. So what can we do for the kids right now? What can we do for the kids right now? This don't take no martial arts training. Well, what can we give our children right now to make sure they get to that school bus and they get home? Well, what, what can we get? Just Teach them no, no answer is wrong. Awareness. I need, I need prayer. Awareness. <laughs> prayer. Yeah, teach them awareness, prayer, take awareness. Defend themselves. Mace, whatever. Uh, I work all, in all, all of these answers are good. I work in a school, and I'm like in my 50s. We have to do shooter drills. Yes. I, grew, I, didn't grow up, I grew up in California. We didn't grow up in the shooter generation. Yes. These kids, we have to practice drills. I'm 56 years old, well, and I practice in the shooter yes, drills in the schools. We live in a time where that's very necessary, and I commend you, sister. I'm glad you were a teacher. I, I know you're one of the ones that will look out for the babies in here. We appreciate you. What can we give these kids? Yes, yeah, all of that is good. Look at the baby with, with, with the pink on. What she got in her hand? Cell phone. Don't all your kids carry cell phones? I have a free app on my phone right now. My daughter's in Louisiana. I can click right now and tell me the address she's at. Very simple shit we can help, we can have to defend our children. Pretty much all the kids got a cell phone. Am I right? Yeah. What about the ones that don't? What can we do? What can we do? Yeah. Oh, we can't all the time. So what, what can we do? What can we do? Any answer to help y'all? Because I'm looking for an answer. I'm giving y'all. Things that I know, yeah, yeah, education. And defense, they need to defense. learn defense. Teaching your surroundings. Teaching your surroundings. For me and my because we're here for solutions today. We're not, we're not gonna walk out of here without a plan. I've always told my children about stuff that's like currently going on so that the children that get kidnapped, the organ, the organ harvesting or whatever you wanna call it. Yes, I don't always been open with them like that. Oh. And to tell them you need to be you need to be watching your surroundings. Also, if somebody does grab you, you need to scream. You need to scratch, scratch the DNA. Even if they, if they, you know, even if you don't make it, I can, uh, I can see. Okay, she scratched them. Okay, we got some type of DNA. Leave some type of evidence, something. But I tell mine all the time: don't go nowhere by yourself. Yes, ma'am. Even when we in the store, don't, don't leave this cart because yes, they will use you all the way down to your fingernails. Yes, ma'am. It's the truth. It's the truth. Thank you, ma'am. What's your name? Amber. Sister Amber, everybody say, hey, Sister Amber. Hey, hey, Sister, Amber. Amber. Sister Amber have a very small child right here, so he may not, he may not be in possession of a, uh, of a cell phone. But um, they, they have a, a GPS tracking, tracking device. devices right now that you That's can right. get that look just like jewelry. And it's unfortunate, man, but we got to tag our kids because they are very valuable. 
monetarily. They are very valuable. Y'all understand? It's stuff that we got to do to take care of our, our kids, our possessions. You know, just like you lock up your car because you don't know nobody to steal it, you're going to lock these babies up the same way. You're going to lock your women up the same way. That, that's, that's, that's what our job is, brothers. That's, that's what our job is. Some of these sisters are not going to accept it. So what? Give it to her anyway. That's right. She know that, y'all can hear me, she know that when she leave out that door and you walking around in that store with her, she's protected just because you're there. You're not getting, you ain't got to know each other, but that's our job. One of the main things we got to do, y'all, is what? Is what? Situational what? Awareness. All right, everybody turn around look at this brother with that hat on. Yeah, black hat. Okay, White okay. Leather, black shit. All right, all right. This brother you just walked in. Y'all keep your head on the swivel, man. It's very dangerous out here right now. It's very dangerous. All I teach, I teach all of my kids how to fight. I teach you a very basic one, two, three step. If you know how to fight, I can put a weapon in your hand that will drop somebody to their knees and draw blood. But you got to learn the basics first. And uh, this class is free. It's every Sunday at Glendale Park, uh, 1030 to 1230. We have a dojo that we've just been given. Uh, uh, just in case the weather get too inclement. But I ask y'all, if you don't come to my class, go to somebody's class and learn some self-defense and bring your kids with you and let them know it's very important. Let them know it's very important. They, they Kids like to kick, scratch, bite, do all of that. Teach them that's very good to do. Teach them that. Teach them that. Y'all, we, we, we live in a terrible time right now. We don't, we, don't, we don't have the luxury of allowing our kids to play outside all night anymore. You know, when I grew up, you could do that. You could... Ride the bike up the street and leave it on the corner and wake up the next day and the bike is still on the corner. We don't have that luxury anymore. We don't have it anymore, man. And our kids are getting snatched in broad daylight. They don't even care anymore. Sisters getting chased right inside public facilities in broad daylight. They do not even care anymore. Sisters, y'all got to be aware. Protect yourself. I know, I, I know y'all bad. I do. I do. I do. But you, you got to get better. Um, that's, that's just, that's all it is to it, you know. You can't rely on uh, a, a brother defending you because unfortunately, it ain't that many that will. So y'all gotta defend yourself, man, and I mean defend yourself like your life truly depended on it. Be vicious with it. Y'all know how to dig and scratch. You know, I, I grew up with sisters, I know. I still got scars on my neck behind that. Y'all gotta do the same thing, man. You got to defend yourself. You just, you got to. It ain't, it's, it's, it's no other way around it, you know. And as I said, I'm getting ready to sit down. Um, this is this is the weapon that I train women with. It's a push dagger knife. Y'all see that? Is that real metal? Oh yeah, it's very real. It's very real. I got some in the car if you want one. 